Hi, and welcome to Astro Bites for Sunday, August the 4th. I couldn't remember what month we were in, 2024. And of course, today is the new moon in the regal and royal leadership sign of Leo. So with this energy in Leo, it kind of inspires us to get out there, be creative, do something bold, do something kind of beyond what we normally do. And the aspects to this new moon are positive. So let's have a little quick kind of look. You've already got my full in-depth look at the new moon in Leo up on my channel. Do check that out. But here's just a little kind of overview. And I'm going to give you a word for the day or actually a word for the new moon, or at least the new moon as I see it today. So let's just have a look at this new moon because interestingly in the event chart, it's actually at the top of the chart, which means it's in the 10th house. And that is the part of the chart, which is about government. It's about organization. It's about putting oneself out there in the public arena on the public stage. So it's a very powerful position for this new moon. And it makes this gentle sextile to the Mars-Jupiter conjunction, which is not quite exact yet, in Gemini. Remember, Gemini, communication, sometimes overthinking. Jupiter can expand the propensity towards overthinking. So we have those kind of energies around. And the Jupiter-Mars conjunction could see things getting very um, busy, excited, excited communication, people having ideas and talking about things in quite a heated way. Now, what does this new moon mean for, I'm thinking of the UK, because the UK is going through a period of lots of pouring out onto the streets and rioting and people complaining about, I'm not really even sure what. I think it's to do with racial stuff. It's to do with just politics in general and the feeling of the, well, the class is being oppressed. So that is a current theme. So how will this new moon help them? Well, if they want to use it in a constructive way, they need to sit down with the people who are kind of in charge and discuss their grievances. If they can do that, this new moon would really help them make some headway because the new moon shows that people are going to be open and, respe and receptive to uh, the right kind of dialogue and communication. So let's just move a little bit further on from that to what else is happening in this new moon chart, because this Jupiter-Mars conjunction is getting ever so closer to its exact square with our retrograde Saturn in Pisces. Now remember, Saturn is about restriction, it's about boundaries, it's about timing. It's in Pisces. Pisces has no boundaries. So it's as if people have lots of creative and wonderful ideas because it's in the fifth house of this chart. So that's the part of the chart which is to do with creativity and entertainment, artistic pursuits. So. It's like saying, we have these wonderful creative ideas of how we could go forward. Saturn is saying, ah, yes, but slow down. It's all about timing. Now, whether that's on the world stage or on your own individual stages, this is a day for prudence, for slowing down, for not... Um, taking away from the potential excitement of new ideas and new ventures that can be launched over the coming weeks and months, 
but to take your time and have the wonderful uh, inspiring conversations that are helped by this Jupiter-Mars conjunction, but not to get too carried away. So Saturn is really urging caution. So that is really what I feel is the important thing to note about today's new moon in Leo. But what is our word for the day? Well, I thought about this and I know I forgot to do a word yesterday, but I got so carried away with crazy cat ladies. And thank you all for your wonderful, amusing and wonderful comments. And um, there's going to be a tsunami of people who are just not going to put up with crazy cat ladies, crazy um, cat men, because a lot of men I've noticed on TikTok have been saying, hey, I'm a crazy cat man and I love my cats and I don't have children. And then there's also all the crazy dog ladies who are saying, hey, what about us? So there is a tsunami of feeling about how we cannot segregate people into types and groups. We are a whole. We are a unity. We have to come together as one dynamic kind of force and personality. That does not mean by using the word force, aggression. It just means that we have to come together as a dynamic force for unity. So let's use unity as our word of the day. What does unity mean for you? What does it mean for the planet? For the planet, it means setting aside differences and discussing them and finding compromise and balance. And that goes for us individually, unity. If we want to be unified as one single unit in a couple, for example, then we have to find balance, compromise, harmony, sharing and communication. With Jupiter spending the next few months, well, really till next May in Jupiter, uh, sorry, in Gemini, Jupiter really is encouraging this dynamic and expansive look at how we communicate. And unity kind of um, also implies the importance to bring back the art of debate that everyone is allowed and can have their own opinion. And it's about taking each opinion, taking each point via debate to look at the evidence. It's as if the collective in general has forgotten about looking for evidence and weighing up. You know, we have if you think of the big statue, the Statue of Liberté in the Grand Harbour or the great massive harbour of New York City, where I sailed out of in 1980 on the Queen Elizabeth II, when I moved back from America, had, I'd had a year in New York and I moved back from America and sailed all the way across the Atlantic to Southampton in the UK. It was the most awesome experience, but you sail past this Statue of Liberty. It's about balance. It's about freedom. It's about choosing the right leaders. People have to be unified. They can have their differences, but if differences can be debated and compromise can be reached, then unity can also be reached. Now, whether you have to do that with yourself on a personal level, looking for unity within the split up parts of yourself, then so be it. And if you have to look for unity in your relationships, then use the energy of this wonderful Jupiter-Mars conjunction and the new moon energy today to really sit down and look at how you can absolutely Embrace the power of debate and conversation. We've forgotten again to get out of our own way 
and to actually apply some active listening. We are reacting instead of responding. Listen to what the other person has to say. It doesn't mean you have to agree. It doesn't mean you have to like it. But listen and find a way to debate. What happens sometimes, and I know I'm making this rather a long astro bike today, but I think I'm on a point here that is really rather important. It's, it's if you find yourself feeling irritated and angry because you're thinking, okay, I've got to stand back and agree with this person about a subject that I feel very strongly about. It's saying something about you. It's saying something about where you need to go within and really look at why you have that reaction. Is it actually anything to do with what's going on now? Are you blinkering yourself, blinding yourself to evidence that you don't want to know about? Because it goes against the belief that you'd already formulated. We have to have the courage and the positivity to change our beliefs. We have to be able, and this is for world leaders, to stand up and say, hey, I was coming at this from the wrong angle. I am now seeing that there is a better way to do things. And that really is why I'm talking about unity today, because if there is one thing we could invite from Leo the lion, regally standing like the Sphinx in front of the pyramids of Giza, looking over the domain that belongs to Leo, it would be unity. So on that note, from this crazy, crazy lady that can never stop talking, and I'm actually recording this on the day of the new moon, the Sunday, because uh, I didn't feel like doing it yesterday. I think I'm gonna to do tomorrow's as well in a minute, and then I won't have to get up early and do it tomorrow morning. But here I go, wittering again. So on that note, have a wonderful new moon. Embrace the power of unity. You are just an awesome lot. Love you all. See you soon. Bye for now.